Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Right now, I need to make sure that you have smashed the follow button. It might look like a plus sign, but yeah, click follow so that you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Today's story comes to us from AJ and Joey. Hey, guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story, and you can too. Just head over to kidsshortstories.com, send me your idea, and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for an alien adventure? Me too! Let's go! Today's story begins deep, deep in the depths of space. Past the moon, past Mars, and past even Jupiter. There were a team of aliens, very mean aliens, that were looking for a new planet to live on. We must find a new place to live. Zippity-boo, please pull the report for the best location for us to colonize a new planet. As the alien named Zippity-boo pulled the report, the findings were not good. At least, not good for me and you. It appears that planet Earth is the best place for us to be. Except... There is one problem. What do you mean there is a problem? Well, it appears that the creatures that live on planet Earth are much bigger than us. Um, very much bigger than us, and so it might be difficult for us to take it over. That is your job, boop. You must figure out a way to level the playing field. <laughs> Wait a second. What are these two aliens talking about? One, it sounds like they want to take over planet Earth. Oh, dear. But wait a second. They sound like they're kind of really small. What do you think Bibbidi Boo is going to do to level the playing field? What does that even mean? Well, I'm not sure, but it was a beautiful day for AJ and Joey. They were out and about on their bikes. They love to ride around their neighborhood. All right, we have to keep an eye out for Professor Sticky Fingers, said AJ. Shh. Yeah, but I have Dr. Stinky Breath over here, said Joey. Shh. The two of them, <laughs> I think they were playing spy with their friends, and they were trying to capture all the bad guys. You know, Dr. Stinky Breath, Professor Sticky Fingers, the Purple Ninjas, everybody. And it sounds like they've captured some, and the game is almost over. As they were zooming around the neighborhood on their bikes with their walkie-talkies, them and their friends were having a ton of fun capturing all the bad guys. But just then, a bright light flashed in the sky. Shh, Joey, did you see that? Said AJ. No, what are you talking about? Shh, I saw something, like, flash in the sky, like, I don't know, an asteroid or something was crashing down. Look, there it is again! I can't see it from where I'm talking about. Wait, I can't tell. Is this for real or a part of the game? Shh, Joey, get over here now. This is not a game, not a drill. This is real. Over. Shh. AJ was waving for Joey to get over here on the hillside that was next to their neighborhood. As he arrived, they watched something crash into the valley down below. Dude, did you see that? Was that, am I losing my mind? Was that real? Said Joey. No. I mean, yes. That was real. I saw it too. What do we do? The two, AJ and Joey, just looked at each other. And they knew exactly what to do without even saying a word. All right, let's move out, said Joey. The two of them put their bikes down on the edge of the street and carefully started walking down towards the valley. The thing that had crashed down into the dirt, it made like a big hole. It didn't look like it was like super big, um, maybe the size of a basketball, but it made a pretty big crater in the dirt because it looked like it came from space. AJ and Joey carefully got closer and closer. They weren't sure if it was going to like explode or something, but it was now just a few feet in front of them. Joey, wait, hold on. I don't know if we should get any closer. That thing could be dangerous. There could be like an alien in there. <laughs> an alien? 
Joey laughed. Look how small that thing is. There's no way that there's an alien in there. And just then, that small basketball-sized rock ship thing, it started to glow. And a door started to open. And a laser shot out right at Joey. Joey, look out! shouted AJ. And just then, Joey vanished! He was like evaporated from the laser! Dun, dun, dun! Joey, where'd you go? shouted AJ. I'm down here! Wait, what? Where are you? Was that your voice? Yes, I'm down here! shouted Joey. AJ looked down at the ground. He couldn't believe it. Joey had been shrunk down to the size of a grasshopper. AJ was frozen in terror. And then he remembered, wait a second. I got to get out of the way. What if it blasts me too? AJ dove off to the side in the grass to be hidden from this laser shooting rock. And as AJ peered through the grass leaves, he saw something step out of that thing. All right, this sounds and feels like a great place for us to live. I can't wait to get planet Earth all ready for the rest of my team. Ha! That was the bibbity boop. Uh, uh, bibbity, I don't know, that alien from the ship earlier? <gasps> I guess he's crash landed onto planet Earth with the goal of shrinking everyone into a much smaller size that would be easier for them to defeat. What in the world are AJ and Joey going to do? How can AJ save Joey and return him to his normal size? I don't know. This one, guys, this is serious. AJ and Joey are going to have to work together to save the world. We'll see you on the next episode of Kids Short Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Daniel from Nova Scotia, Grace and Elijah from Winnipeg, Benny and Addie from New Mexico, Aiden, Noah, and Alana from Australia, Dexter from Chilliwack, Eddie from Boston, Tatwick from India, and Ryan from Japan. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family. And on our spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, I would love if you left an Apple review for this show to tell me how much you love it. I love reading those reviews. They make me super happy. Well, you have a super duper day. (laughs) And I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.